Lanka from Kent has given a graphic account of the violence that's erupted in Haiti, devastated by an earthquake and now suffering an outbreak of cholera. Desperate for medical supplies, people are raiding hospitals and attacking ambulances, including Carwin Hills. We first reported on his work in January when he went to the island immediately after the quake struck. Well, Carwin has just returned to Cape Haitian in the north of the... And by video phone, he told our reporter Phil Bales of the frightening scenes he's now witnessing. They are there as peacekeepers, UN troops in Haiti. But they've gone on the offensive. Shooting rioters dead as their hold on peace slips. Struck by floods, earthquake and now disease, many Haitians blame the UN troops for bringing cholera, which has killed thousands. Even hospitals and medical supplies are targets for the rioters, including this ambulance, which was sent to help from London. The images are still as shocking as the, uh, the first time I came really. And, uh, the head of the charity Haiti Hospital Appeal, Carwin Hill, today gave us this eyewitness account. Our ambulance got very badly damaged in, in the protest when it was picking up some of the injured and one of our nurses got injured in that through bricks being kind of smashed through, through the window. So we're, we're taking things very cautiously. The guys have been taking little back routes and, and avoiding the worst areas at the moment. The main part of the city. At the charity's headquarters in West Wickham, Carwin's fellow fundraisers listened to this first-hand account of the new disaster unfolding in Haiti with horror. Cholera, which can be cured with rapid medical care, can equally devastate a population where there's no clean water or sanitation. People have just been dying at home and their, their bodies just being left openly in the street, um, which is obviously very worrying because the, the infection Speaking to some of the uh, people from Medicine Sans Frontieres, their projection is that the next four to five weeks there's going to be a tsunami of new cases and it's really going to be getting even more desperate. With one and a half million people still living in tents, human waste is getting into the water. Fresh supplies and drugs are desperately needed. We need money to be able to have uh, a new army of doctors and nurses round the clock and we need to buy materials like uh, rehydrates and antibiotics in large quantities. We also want to have a programme of being able to provide 5,000 families with the ingredients necessary to prevent cholera. Carwin and his team say they don't fear for their own safety, but there are fears that the riots will continue because the protesters believe they will drive the UN and the cholera out. Phil Bales, London Tonight.